Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pia and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome to Vlogmas. We are doing Vlogmas this year. This is my first time doing it and I'm so excited to just spend the next 25, 30 days together. Let's start Vlogmas day one. Happy day one of Vlogmas. I decided to do Vlogmas um, 10 minutes ago. I need to get a bunch of memory cards today because I am not trying to fiddle with these the entire 30 days. So today we're gonna start with something very easy. I'm just gonna do my everyday makeup, keep it chill, talk to you guys a little bit, and then yeah. Okay, so we are gonna do my really like casual, easy makeup when I don't really feel like doing my makeup. My headband is from Aloe. There's one hair in my face that will not leave me alone. I need to get more of this today. It's the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It's so good. There's literally nothing left. Ah, oh, so good and there's nothing left in there. Anyways, so I decided to do Vlogmas like 10 minutes ago when I saw someone post on their stories that they were doing it and I was like, I've never committed to this before, but I really want to post more on my YouTube. I was thinking of doing it on TikTok too, but I'll just do like more frequent like get ready with me's on TikTok. I don't really think it's necessary to do Vlogmas on both platforms. I'm using the iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. I'm in the shade Golden Medium and I'm a big fan of this stuff. Also, you can see that my face is much lighter than the rest of my body, so this actually matches the rest of my body. My vision for Vlogmas was to just do like, obviously daily vlogs, because I like watching those. I like seeing like what people are doing during Vlogmas, but then also just do like other types of videos, whether it be like maybe a gift guide of some sort, hauls, my favorite bags at the moment. I don't know, just like random things, whatever I'm feeling that day. So how I'm doing, the editing for this is three videos a week will be done by my editor, Julia. And then the other four videos will be edited by me, which should be very interesting because I haven't edited my own video in well over a year. So you'll probably be able to see the clear distinction between my editing and her editing, but whatever. So there's that, pretty good. And then I'm gonna do, my favorite concealer is the NARS Creamy Concealer. I'm in the shade Praline and Ginger. I use two different shades. Okay, so if you guys are on TikTok, you probably already know what I'm talking about, or maybe this is just on my For You page, but there's this creator, her name's Danielle. She's literally blowing up, like I found her when she's like 12,000, and now she's like, at 179,000 and she's gaining like crazy amount of followers every day but it like makes sense because I'm obsessed with her. She does like food things. She posted corn crisps with mussels, like tin fish mussels. They're like the Patagonia provisions ones from Whole Foods with Momofuku Thai crunch on top. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know. I feel like everyone knows, should know what I'm talking about, but then I realized that my For You page probably looks so different from other people's. But anyways, I like ran to Whole Foods yesterday to find all these ingredients. I found the very last Momofuku Thai crunch. Found the corn crisp, which are bomb. I couldn't find the mussels, so I put like tuna on top of these like cracker things. And it's so good. Now I'm obsessed with it. And I'm like the type of person where once I become obsessed with something, I will eat it every single day until I physically like can't stomach it anymore. She also eats a lot of caviar. <laughs> I already love caviar, but I never have it like in my apartment. And guess who ordered caviar yesterday? I just like love TikTok because my For You page is so, there's a ton of food on there and then there's like the designer luxury side of it. Then there's like my Julia Fox side of it where she's like, I don't know, Julia Foxing, talking about whatever she talks about. And I like her content, I think she's funny. And she like always speaks the truth. I feel the same way about HRH collection. You guys know who that is. Like, I don't know why she always comes up on my For You page. She like goes on these like manic tangents. And I don't watch her all the time, but honestly, I think it's so funny. She really does say not everything I'm thinking, but like a lot of the things that I think that I would just never say out loud. And she just says everything. There is one piece of hair tickling my face. It's driving me crazy. Get off of me. The worst is I can see it too and it doesn't want to come off. Anyways, I'm using the Huda Beauty Chocolate Truffle 
for my contour a makeup artist used this on me a few months back and i couldn't find still can't find the charlotte tilbury one after i ran out of it that one is like impossible to find i don't know charlotte i don't know what you're doing but you need to make those by the boatload anyways this works really well too though i said this was my easy makeup and i kind of forgot what i was doing so now i'm just doing like my full out makeup what else is new in my life Ooh, we could talk about dating so i did this thing where if you follow me on instagram which i'm assuming you probably do because my following is pretty small on here so i feel like the only people that would watch me are coming from instagram but if you've been following me for a while, you know that maybe I've shared like a glimpse of my personality and like I am very introverted by nature. Like I am such a homebody and I love being by myself. I could hang out with myself. Like I am by myself like 99% of the week. It doesn't bother me. I love taking myself on dates. I'm just very, I've always been this way. Like I'm very, very independent. Like being single and literally like i mean like actually single like not talking to people not dating people like just being by myself single one comes so naturally to me whereas being in a relationship i feel doesn't like in a lot of ways so last few months i've been going on dates like just saying yes to a bunch of dates i've never really had like that phase in life where i was like going on a lot of dates like the last few months i've gone on this is a lot to me like i don't know like six or seven which is a lot and like with different people and it was fun but now i'm like in the place where i'm so socially drained that i swear to you guys i could go probably the full 2023 without talking to a single man and i'd probably be fine actually i know i would be fine and that's kind of my mood now so i've just been saying no to going on more dates because it just i know some people like love them and they're like fun and i think they could be but I think it really just depends on where you're at in life. Like it shouldn't be draining. And that's how I usually tend to feel. Like the guys that I've gone on dates with have all been so great, like super nice guys, nothing wrong with them, but it's me. I'm the problem. Oh, this, oh, oh, this, oh. I just shoved my entire thumb, that's disgusting, into my blush, okay. Um, I don't even I don't even know what to do one second. I need to wipe my finger <laughs> Okay, well that wasn't graceful at all by any means But this is the tower 28 magic hour blush in beach, please. I've gone through so many of these I also have another shade. I just don't remember what it's called, but I use this one every day and I like to get it like really Kind of high up on the face sometimes if I'm feeling little sassier i'll throw on um this is rare beauty in joy and just do like two dots like that this stuff is strong though so if you want like a good strong blush okay cute okay so this is the best powder you'll ever use on your under eyes if you don't have it you need to go get it this is the laura mercier translucent loose but it's in the shade rose so apparently pink powders really brighten up your under eye it has like this really like soft focused finish i love this especially if you have tan skin tones i think it will work on anyone but like tan especially with like the pink undertone it looks so nice and bright i really love this powder and okay so i just do that i kind of just let it like bake a little bit yeah this is not my easy makeup at all this is like we're going almost full glam and then i use the shade translucent honey because this one looks really good on tan skin tones as well and i use the opposite side of my sponge Just carve but then also use the excess to get this all over the face i always get like really oily like right here in like my smile line area which is not cute so anything on your guys is like christmas wish list like anything that you're asking for this year that you're like you really really want yeah i didn't really ask for anything this year like for my sister i told her to get me a camcorder because i think they're so cute you know like the aesthetic like vibey y2k like vlog style i think that would be really cute like for my reels and stuff then i asked my parents for 
jewelry and i like jewelry that you never take off like i'm way too lazy to like take necklaces on and off my bracelets never come off. like nothing ever comes off of my body if i have to take it off because it's gonna get ruined i will, will probably never wear it again and that's basically all i asked for like i just asked for like a simple gold ring i mean i feel like as you get older it really does become like less about the gifts and more about who you're spending it with i guess plus i literally have I'm trying to be better about it, but I literally have a shopping addiction. So anything that I want, I just instantly buy. Which, blessing. Who would do that? This blush is so cute. It's the Rosy Glow. I've been looking for the orange one for literally so long and I can't find it anywhere. So I'm just convinced it's not meant for me. Now we're going to do my eyebrows. I already, before I even do foundation, I put the brow freeze on it. And these are my favorite brow pencils. I'm using the shade black right now. I love when you have a good brow day. Anyways, I'm super excited for Vlogmas. Like, I feel like it'll be a good way for you guys to see, like, what I do day in and day out. And, like, I genuinely love vlogging. And you guys could let me know if it translates this way, but, like, I literally just pretend like I'm talking to a friend on FaceTime. What's funny is when I was younger, like, when OG YouTubers were a thing, I used to watch Amanda Steele, Elle, and... Blair, Fowler, I used to be obsessed with them. I'm like blanking on the names. Just like the OG YouTubers, right? Like when YouTubers, like Bath and Body Works halls, Lush halls, I used to sit in my room, put up a mirror, like, um, like a vanity mirror and do hauls and do makeup tutorials and talk basically like what I'm doing now, but without a camera. <laughs> So I'd literally just talk to myself for hours and I thought it was so fun and it's just crazy to see like when I look back at my life like when I left college and like got my degree in finance and I was trying to pursue that career like it's just funny to look back. I'm nowhere near where I want to be in my career but like just looking back and realizing like wow this is really like what I feel like God always wanted me to do because when you're 10 years old like pretending to do what you do now makes me super emotional and grateful if you ask me. Okay, I'm using my little Charlotte Tilbury powder. I don't have the full size one because I thought it was honestly like a gimmicky trend and I didn't want to buy the full size one and now I realize that it's actually bomb. I don't like mascara. <laughs> like when I'm trying to do my easy makeup, I really don't ever do mascara, but whatever, I guess I'll do it today just for shits and gigs. For my eyeshadow, I just use Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 3 and I'm using the shade Prismatic Strobe Light. Okay. Oh, I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. I wish you guys could see. There's a crack in the middle of my nail. It's like going to the middle. And then on my thumb, so ratchet, there's two different cracks. So there's one right here that goes like to the middle. And then there's one up here that goes to the middle on the other side. So I get Botox. And when you get Botox, you can't like, you know, when you're doing mascara and you're like lifting your eyebrows, I can't do that. So I have to, I take my finger and lift and do that. Otherwise, it gets all over my eyelids. I use the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara. This stuff works so well for making your lashes grow. It's honestly insane. And then on top of it, you use the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. This is like magical for making your lashes look fake. My lashes were getting so long and then me being dumb, Decided to get eyelash extensions uh, for when I went to Paris, which I don't regret because it made my makeup so much easier. But you now my eyelashes are short again. Last step, my lips. I'm using KKW Nude 2. I'm very sorry that you can't get this anymore. Kosas Supreme is a good dupe. I love this stuff. Make It Forever sent me these, like all of them, in Rouge Artist Forever Matte in the shade. 192 toffee at all hours. It's so good. It's like a matte like lip cream kind of reminds me of the NYX ones cute, right? For gloss, I'm just gonna do 000 from Dior. This is just the Dior cherry This is the finished makeup. Do I want to take this out? I don't want to take it out yet because I'm scared of what my hair is gonna look like anyways I'm super excited to be doing vlogmas. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to see um, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of everything like cooking hauls workouts. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye